Now let's go into our wrist cars. Wrist cars. We're not going to go over fingers. We use our fingers enough that they typically have good range of motion. But you can do each finger as well. Um, but let's go over the wrists. A lot of us that have had weak wrists or can't really put pressure on them, this is going to be great for you to try to expand your ability in those wrists. So when you do them, again, this can be done with both high hands at the same time. We're going to get full flexion. I'm going to try to pull it in as much as I can, then I'm going to get my oh, lateral motion as then I start to go into full extension. As I get down here, I try to get lateral flexion the other way as then I try to flex straight back up. So this is going to be your circle. I'm trying not to let my full arm turn. This is now shoulder, right? We're just doing the wrist. You're just trying to make the joint hit its end range, which might not be a lot, right? You might look at my joints and see a big circle or ability. You might not have that. I don't care what yours look like as long as it's your end range. <sighs> Movement is king or queen, my friends. Then you're going to switch directions. <sighs> The whole point of these is to create movement. That is the body's language. That movement will then create change and establish ability and capacity in those joints. So don't doubt the power of movement. That was the wrist right there.